Welcome back to Zombie Side Black Plague. We're playing Quest 2, The Black Book, and it's taking forever, but we're going to do it. I'm sure we are. We have Baldrick's bumbling band of adventurers, uh, powered up, geared up, and making their way down into the vaults. Hopefully this episode, to at least steal one of the vault artifacts, possibly two. Uh, and up first for this episode is going to be Anne. And Anne is sitting right here with these two little fatties and her axe of carnage. And I keep forgetting, I left a note. She has a dagger in her backpack. Uh, not in her backpack, in her armor slot, which she is allowed to carry, which lets her roll plus one die on attacks. So she should be rolling five dice on attacks instead of four. I keep forgetting that. So let's have her do that. Uh, she's in the orange zone. She gets one free melee action, which she will take right now. And use her axe of carnage on these two fatties. And she gets a four and a five. And that's enough to take down the two fatties. Um, which is not an issue for Anne, apparently. <laughs> she's pretty good at slaying everything. She's up to 38 experience. Getting close to 43, which will put her into the red zone, uh, which Nelly is already there. So now that was her free melee. She actually has uh, four more actions. And so for her first of four actions, she's going to do bloodlust, jumping right into the center of these five walkers, because that's what Anne does best. Kill things. All right, so that's her first of four actions, bloodlust. And she gets two hits. Well, okay. Two walkers go down. Uh, that's going to put her up to 40 experience. Oh my god. She still has three actions remaining. She gets three more hits, which kills all three of those walkers. And she is now into the red zone. Oh my goodness. So, she still has two actions left. <laughs> And she gets another ability. She can either get a free combat action, plus one die to roll, a plus one dice roll on combats, or six roll a six plus one die combat. Uh, oh, if she rolls a six, she gets plus one die, on, uh, plus one to her combat. <clears throat> uh, plus one die roll, six. Uh, I'm going to give her, oh man. I'm going to give her the plus one free combat action because uh, she's got that Axe of Carnage. It's really good for her to just kill everything. So she has, I think, two actions left. And with her two actions left, she's going to move one space here and she's going to try to open the crypt door. Uh, and this time she's just, whoops, rolling four dice as I destroy the place uh, because you don't get the uh, bonus melee attack uh, combat attack for opening door. So she's opening the crypt door with her axe of carnage and she does it. So it's open. Uh, and do we, uh, so she opens it. Actually, you don't need to open crypt doors, do you? you just go through them into the crypt. Um, okay. She has one more action. Let me just check that room. I don't know why I'm, my brain is, uh, <laughs> turned off here for crypt. I think you just go into the crypt I don't think you actually have to open the crypt door. If you have to open the crypt door, then she's done it. Uh, which I think she has to. But let me just double check that. And then, all right. yes, vault doors are opened just like any other door. And I should have had all of these vault doors, instead of having them this side, which is the open side, they should be on the closed side until you open them. So I apologize for that. I've had that open the entire game. They should have all been closed. So that was Anne's final action, opening the vault door. Now, zombies don't spawn in the vaults. They can move through the vault, but they don't spawn there. So that's basically the end of Anne's actions. Up next is a Baldric. And Baldric uh, says, thanks, Anne, for opening that door. And I have the crypts right at the very top of the playing area here. So pretty kind of hard to see. Baldrick, does he have any free move actions? I don't think so. He has the free magic action and four actions. So for his four actions, he's going to go one, two, three down into the vault. Four is going to pick up the first vault item, and it's the King's Mace uh, vault. For each friendly survivor at range zero to one and within line of sight, get plus one die for all melee actions involved. 
uh, with this weapon. A three plus, holy man. And it does too much. Well, he, um, he's going to put the hammer in his backpack and he's going to use that instead because that's pretty powerful. It basically has the same hitting power as a hammer but hits on a three plus and you get plus one die for each ally uh, within zero to one in line of sight. Wow, that's pretty awesome. All right, that's it for Baldrick. Way up, he's down in in the vault. Up next is, <clears throat> excuse me, LB the dwarf. And we do have one dead eye walker here that can fire into this zone. So we might want to think about getting rid of it. But LB can't really do much. He has a free melee action only. Um, and I almost think we need to have, uh, huh. I think we might split up the party. I think we're going to have Anne and Baldrick go through the vault, coming into this room with the book. And we're going to have the other um, three head do crowd control in the streets. So I think that's what we're going to do. So LB the Dwarf is basically going to go... Oh, this is, gets a little tricky because we don't want to shoot at the Dwarf and miss. Uh, so he's going to go... I don't know what he's going to do. Does he have any ranged capability at all? He has Mana Blast, which doesn't do... Well, it can get rid of the Deadeye Walker. So, he has Chain Lightning. I think... Oh, I don't even know what we're going to do. He's going to put the shield... He's going to do an ex uh, exchange item with himself. He's going to put the shield in his backpack. And he's going to put Mana Blast in his hand. So, he has some ranged capability. Or does he want to do an exchange item with Arnaud? Give Arnaud the shield. He cannot put a shield. He has shield of ages already, which gives him armor 4+. plus. Ah, so many things to keep track of now. So his first action was to put Mana Blast in hand. His second and third action is to move here, and then he's going to use Mana Blast, which is just your basic one die, hits on a 4+. plus. He's trying to take out this Deadeye Walker, and he does it. All right, Mana Blast. Takes out the one Dead Eye Walker. Now we don't have to worry about his ranged attack. we go from 23 to 24 experience. That's going to be the end of his turn. His free melee action is not going to come into effect. Uh, up next is Nelly with the Chaos Bow and Plenty of Bolts. Well, Nelly's going to take her first shot into the crowd. So she's doing crowd control. Rolling four dice with that Chaos Bow. Hitting on a four plus. If she gets all hits... It's dragon fire. Oh, wow. And so she gets two hits. She has plenty of arrows she can reroll, but she'll take that two hits. <clears throat> Excuse me. And she has a free combat action, which we will call that her free combat action. Um, I think we've got a lot of runners here we got to get rid of. I think she's going to do her free move. So she has four actions remaining. So we're kind of leaving those walkers there for the time being. And she has a range of three. One, two, three. She can hit the fatty. So for her first action, she will move here. And then for her second action, she will shoot at the three runners with the bow. She hits three hits. Taking down the three runners. Um, and she has... Oh, I keep forgetting how many actions. Free, so one, that was her second action. I think she has two actions left. She will shoot at the, two, at the fatties. She gets two of them. And I think she gets one more action. Let me just rethink this again. She was here. She took one action to shoot, or free combat, free move. Four actions. So one, so she had three actions. One, two, I think she has one more shot left against this guy. Two fours takes him down. Nelly is keeping the streets clean. I'll just call her Nelly the Street Sweeper. All right, that was Nelly. Up last is Arnaud. And Arnaud is also in street cleaner duty. So he has a free move action and four actions. So for his free move action is to here. His first action is to move there. He's three actions left. Going to use his Vampiric Crossbow uh, to shoot at those walkers. Two dice, range of one to two. Hits on a four plus. Okay, so he had a free move. Well, actually, there's three. He can do three attacks. So first attack, 
takes out one walker. I'll do his second attack, takes out one walker. And his third and final attack takes out two walkers. So thinned him down, that's going to give him four experience. Uh, we're now getting four experience from 35 to 39. He's getting close to the red zone as well. And that concludes everybody's uh, turn. So we're going to have zombies moving, the ones that are left. And then we're going to be doing spawning in the red zone. Wow! <laughs> well, let's just do the moving because we have only two walkers left on the entire board. That's how good of a job we've been doing cleaning. And I just readjusted the camera a little bit here. We're going to have spawning happening. So, red zone, first spawn, an abomination. All right, Arnaud knows how to deal with them. So, I'm not even worried about them right now. Abomination, the second spawn up in the north in the red is a necromancer. Okay, things are heating up. Uh, things are heating up. Necromancer with a spawn point. And I did forget to do a spawn in the last episode. So this is the necromancer spawn. Three runners come with him. And then we have to spawn at the regular point as well. Um, or did I do that incorrectly? Three runners. Okay, so... Wait, we got the Abomination, then we got a Necromancer. That's the Necromancer spawn point. And then I think this is our last spawn. Is it not? I believe it is. Um, yeah. Or is it? Uh, yes, it is. So that was it. And our last spawn point, I think I'm doing this right. We get a double spawn where the Abomination is. So the first double of the double spawns, seven walkers, seven walkers, and... The abomination moves. The abomination is going to move because of this one. And then we're going to get seven walkers over in this zone. All right, it's going to be crowd control again uh, for uh, Nelly and Arnaud. So there's five with two more walkers. And that's it. So we have an abomination on the board. Unfortunately, Arnaud is pretty far away. Uh, so we're going to have to do a bit of re. A bit of shuffling here. Okay, oh, that's uh, going to be it for basically the first turn. Up starting, it will be Baldric. Uh, it's going to start off for the next turn. So let me just kind of readjust the camera a bit here and we'll begin the next part of this episode. All right, Baldric is down in the uh, purple vault. He's going to try to open this door. Which, of course, is going to cause four spawns to happen in here. But, uh, but, 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 if we get an abomination moving, well, we'll deal with it when it happens. Baldrick has a ha oh, he has that mace now. He has the king's mace, which rolls, uh, it only rolls one die, hits on a three plus. So he's trying to smash this door open with the mace, hits on a three plus. No problem. Cracks the door open. Which could be a problem because now we're going to have four spawns. We'll start here. One, two, three, four. Actually, we'll start at the door one. One, two, three, four spawns in the red. This could be problematic. All right, let's do it. So that was, let's see how many actions. <clears throat> Excuse me, Baldrick has, he basically gets four actions and he has that two free spell casting ability. All right, first spawn at the door point in red is a double spawn. Okay, well, a double spawn here then, in that zone, which means a necromancer. Well, the necromancer is just going to move. He's up here. He will move. He's trying to get to one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. Um, it's our choice, isn't it? I think he's going to try to get to this spawn point here. That's well, it, actually, for them, he's going to try to get to the green one. Makes more sense. All right, that was the first of the double spawn in here. Red zone, five walkers. All right, so things, well, I don't know. Things might pile up in here. I'm not sure. Three, okay, five walkers. And in this zone in the red, we're gonna get one activation. All standard fatties get an extra activation. Well, guess what? We don't have any. And this spot with the black book, gets four 
dead eye walkers eh so there's uh, an archer brigade guarding the book okay that's not too terrible so that was basically baldrick's first turn just opening that door that wasn't as bad as i thought baldrick's second action then is going to be moving up into this room and from here uh, he has two actions left and he has two free spell casting actions with his two free spell casting actions he's going to start by shooting at these guys with disintegrate rolling three dice hitting on a five plus and he gets one dead eye walker out of that that was his first of two free magic actions he's up to 33 experience he will attack them again and he gets one more uh did i walker going from 33 to 34 experience and now he has two actions left so he might as well keep shooting at the dead eye walkers come on baldrick gets one and he still has one action left for disintegrate come on baldrick get rid of him and he gets rid of the last guy so that's two more experience 34 up to 36 he's not in the red zone yet that's it for baldrick okay up next is lb the dwarf lb the dwarf doesn't like having an abomination staring him in the face so he is going to back off one and i think he gets a free melee action so he has four actions oh man i don't even know what to do with him um i think we're just going to have him go one two three four he'll go in here he'll go down with and we're going to leave our nod and nelly out in the street for uh cleanup duty up to nelly's turn now nelly has that nice little chaos longbow first thing she's going to do is her free move she has a free combat action she's going to shoot at the necromancer and the two walkers so her free combat action she gets two hits taking the two walkers out she now has four actions so she'll shoot at the necromancer and she gets them so the necromancer is done the necromancer's spawn point goes away and uh, she has two actions remaining so she's going to go one action here and her final action is to shoot at the three runners up here she has the range to do it and she's going to re-roll all those dice because she has plenty of arrows come on nelly chaos bow one two three hits all three runners taking a dirt nap permanently all right that was nelly wow street cleaning no problem our nod gets to go next and he has the nice vampiric crossbow which is a abomination slayer uh, range of one to two unfortunately he's all the way up here uh, but he has a free move action so free move action and then he has four actions so one two and he's going to shoot twice at the abomination with the vampiric crossbow and it hits on a four plus so can he take down the abomination well, let's find out uh not with that but he has plenty of bolts so with plenty of bolts he gets to re-roll so we are we are not doing badly so he gets to re-roll and he still misses all right his final action he's got to get one hit here he does the abomination goes down that gives him five experience points that just pushed him into the red oh my god which means he gets another ability um he's going to take the free combat action they're out here cleaning up the streets he gets a free combat action uh, but he's out of range of everybody so that's going to be the end of our nod up next is an with the axe of carnage all right i think her first action is going to be blood lust uh well no it can't be she's going to go one to move down into the vault her first action her second action i think to move one two spaces is bloodlust so her second action is bloodlust she gets to roll five dice oh my god one two three four hits that was her um second action her third action will be to uh, chop at this guy with her axe and takes him down uh, she's also in the red now 
her, Nellie. Everyone's in the red almost except LB the dwarf. And her final action is to move, I guess, over here with the door. And that's the end of... Uh, wow. I don't see how we're going to lose this scenario. Earlier on in the series, I thought, my God, there's I don't know how we're even going to survive. And now it's almost turning into a bit of a cakewalk. So I apologize. I suppose it's a little bit boring. But we're going to... Re I play right through the game on my channel, so uh, if you've stuck it out this long, you will see how it ends. Anyway, we're going to do zombie movement, uh, and because all these walkers are shambling down the street. That's all that's left. We've killed everything else. <laughs> we're going to see if we can end this series with everybody in the red. So we need LB and uh, Baldrick to, uh, to do some more slaying, but I don't think LB is going to get the chance. Okay, that's... Um, Time now to spawn. Wow, her spawning is still in the red. She hasn't seemed to be too much wrong. So we're going to spawn here first. A ah, necromancer. All right, they just keep coming out of the woodwork. He comes with a nice spawn point, and um, it immediately spawns. And it gets six walkers. So he shows up with six walkers. I smell chaos bow action coming up in the next episode. So one two, three, all right, four, five, and one more makes it six. All right, well, they're coming at us hard and fast, but I think we have it under control. Up in the north, red zone, uh, standard zombie invasion, three runners, three runners show up. Well, we know what happened to the last three runners. They uh, fell down pretty quick with uh, Nelly shooting at them. All right, three runners show up there, and the last spawn down here in the red is the Necromancer will move, and he's going to move in with this crowd of zombies. And he's trying to make his way here, or is he? One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make life difficult. He's going to try heading for the green exit point. All right, I do believe that is going to conclude this episode of a very long series of Zombicide Black Plague. We're playing Quest to the Black Book, and we've got one vault artifact uh, already. We need to get one more vault artifact, retrieve the Black Book, and that is going to win us the scenario. I think we're going to pull it off, but you just really never know. We still have to get into this... Uh, vault uh, well actually we don't have to go into this room at all because all we need to do is go down the vault grab the vault and grab that thing so i think maybe next episode's going to be it if Anne can open that door and grab the final vault artifact and baldrick can get over here and claim the black book i think we will have a victory it looks promising so thanks so much for watching along once again zombieside black plague Quest to the Black Book with Baldrick's Bumbling Band, who've done pretty darn well, I think. And uh, so thanks for your uh, subscriptions, your likes, your comments. Really appreciate it. This is obviously Black Plague, the Black Book. So thanks so much for watching along, and we'll catch you next time in the conclusion.